Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching the Daily Roundup on your home channel, NBC One. Now, the Environmental Investment Fund of Namibia, in conjunction with the Sustainable Development Advisory Council uh, and the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism, are gearing up to host the fourth Sustainable Development Awards. The awards intend to recognize the importance of integrating sustainability into the core of business and uh, industry, as well as the daily lives of all Namibians. We now joined virtually by Lot Ndamanomata, Communications Manager at the Environmental Investment Fund of Namibia, and of course a notable colleague uh, on one of the NBC shows. A very good evening, uh, should I say colleague, or should I say Mr. Ndamanomata? Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good evening, John, to you and the team, and thank you very much for hosting us. Absolutely. If we can just start uh, to briefly speak up to us about the importance of uh, the fourth Sustainable Development Awards. What is, how imperative is this event? Well, uh, it, it's very imperative. Again, thank you very much for the opportunity. And as you correctly indicated that this is an initiative mainly of the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism, which provides strategic leadership on issues of uh, climate change, issues of all related to that issue of sustainable development within Namibia's uh, uh, policy spectrum when it comes to that area. So them being uh, the leader in that spec, they then brought the Environmental Investment Fund as well as the Sustainable Development Advisory Council together in order to host this Sustainable Development Awards in order to recognize those who are making contribution in sustaining in our daily lives, ensuring that, you know, issues of environmental sustainability remain quite at the center, and also just ensuring that, you know, we are investing uh, resources into our daily activities that ensure that, you know, we are thinking about not only the current generation, but we are only worried that we are also worried about the future generation because we might be able to meet our consumption on the daily basis right now as we speak. But what about the prospects of the future generation? So this award mainly serve as the accolades in terms of uh, environmental uh, sustainability within Namibia. So the idea is to what those specific individuals that have been making contribution or even groups that have contributed within that kind of space of ensuring that, you know, we are really focused on ensuring that environmental sustainability becomes at the core and that, you know, those people that are driving up innovative ideas in terms of, you know, being worried about climate change, you know, trying to uh, ensure that we deploy adaptation measures, we're trying to deploy mitigation measures, for instance, in terms of climate change, you know, we're looking at, you know, for instance, the, the planet is becoming more warmer. Yep. We know that Namibia's evaporation rate, you know, is very, very high in terms of the amount of, for instance, how long it takes for the rain. Once it rains, you know, it, it, you know, it, 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 water evaporates, for instance, very quickly in Namibia. So as an overall, overall, uh, objective of sustainable development awards. We just want to reward and recognize those individuals who are making strides in ensuring that you know we are really taking care of our environment. Very well. Now, this is of course the fourth edition of the awards. Uh, if you take us back to the last three uh, that have driven change in societies across the country, especially in the realm of sustainability, uh, the awards. Can you just tell us how those were in the last four, uh, four uh, three editions rather, and how different the fourth edition will be this year? No, well, um, let me just, just take back you back to the immediate one, the third edition, which took place in the year 2021, which we hosted at uh, Safari Hotel now called Mecure Hotel. Uh, that one showed us, uh, so, so had an opportunity of us modifying the number of categories that we had, making them much more. Uh, so that one was quite a success because we had an opportunity specifically to focus also on sectors such as youth, and sustainable development, we focus on a new category, for instance, that talked about sustainable schools, with a focus also on private schools and public schools, because the also the idea is to catch them while they are young and to be able to understand at an early age what their contribution to sustainability can be. We also had an opportunity of a um, of, uh, of also diversifying the portfolio when it comes to recognizing journalists who are in the spectrum. We divided that category into that uh, publication, you know, in terms of best print, we talked about best television and best radio. Now, for instance, moving on from that, what we have learned from the last awards that we are doing now that is different, moving from the third to the fourth award is that we have added an extra category where we are, we are focusing on issues of sustainable mining and exploration activities. I know in most cases we always hear that the mining sector is driving up 
uh, you know, GDP. Its, it's contribution to GDP can, cannot be under, uh, you know, even correctly possibly estimated because it's growing well. Even the earlier story that you're talking about where one of the areas that are growing are contributing to the GDP, the governor of the central bank made reference to it. So you also want to recognize in terms of this new category, those who are involved in this sector and they're doing whatever they can that, you know, they're exploring now maybe as resources, natural resources in a sustainable manner. You know, so we want to ensure that those companies who are pro, uh, promoting exploration of our natural resources that are moving towards, for instance, uh, you know, they are more in line towards the establishment of the mining rehabilitation fund, which is expected to be hosted by the Environmental Investment Fund in the near future, should all processes finalize and everything is sorted, we will also share details as time goes by. So these are the new categories that we have and we have added, and uh, you know, we are just hoping. The time around, that we also more stakeholders to come on board to help us ensure that you know we give an opportunity to really recognize those that are making strides. The, the difference is I can also tell you is that uh, last uh, the last edition we had over seventy four submissions that were received in terms of applicants that are vying to participate in the Sustainable Development Awards. I can tell you right now that we have already exceeded that number in terms of the fourth edition. So we expect now that they are around about uh, tomorrow and Friday. Basically, we have Thursday left and Friday until one o'clock before the closing takes place. And obviously, the duration of today before the end of day is run about six hours before the day literally ends. So we are excited to see, to receive the number of applications. So obviously, it is growing. And also what makes this year's edition much more different is that in terms of the trophy yeah. that will be awarded to all the different categories on the night of the 19th of June 2024 here in the nation's capital is that we are asking in a form of a waste campaign for Namibians to share ideas and you know design uh, you know um, award an award as of to what you want it to look like it's sort of made out of uh, so that may, being made out of waste is one of the areas where we are encouraging Namibians to become innovative. Now, it, yeah, how they can be able to contribute to the issue of waste management, which is also an area in which we are also hoping that some of the applications will also be focused in the application, telling us as to how, how they manage waste, how they transport those waste, transform that waste into something more sustainable, or are they ensuring that they are keeping their environments clean? So quite excited that you know there are some changes in this fourth edition and we'll also use this as an opportunity to also hear from the participants and our stakeholders what is it possibly that we can do better looking forward to the fifth edition right very true it's quite uh, quite interesting these awards but if we can just expand more of uh, on the criteria you just mentioned that there are over 70 uh, applicants that you've applications that you've received so for someone who's watching right now uh, how can they form part of the awards and when is the due date for the entries Okay, thank you again for that question, John. Uh, the, I, I must state that, that the, the due date for the entries into the Sustainable Development Awards is on the 19th of June 2024. Um, 19th of, no, 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 not, not, forgive me. That is the hosting of the awards on the 19th of June. Mm -hmm. The closing date of the end for entries is on the 19th of April 2024. That means this coming Friday by one o'clock, that's when the entries are closing. Anything received after one o'clock, even if it's just a minute after one, we will not be able to receive. It's the same as well as the competition for waste management that we are calling upon to design to design the award for the award ceremony. They are closing both at the same time on the 19th of April 2024. Now, in terms of the categories that I mentioned to you, I'm just going to give you a, a quick breakdown overview in terms of those categories. Now, we are looking at uh, 10 broad categories, which means then broad, these 10 broad categories are the categories where individuals can be able to apply because there's a category whereby individuals are not able to apply. Yeah. And I'll explain as of why. So we have the first category, which is called Private Sector Championship for Sustainable Development with three subcategories focusing that is on startups, small and medium enterprises as well as established companies established companies now this category basically aims to primarily looks at private companies you know parasitals local authorities you know individuals or companies who are involved in innovative technologies and exciting opportunities which minimize operational impact on the environment. So it's about being innovative, you know, reducing your food, carbon footprint on the environment. So environmental sustainability and friendly and approaches to, 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 to the usage of uh, 
energy, water, and waste eco satisfaction uh, certification schemes, amongst many others. The other category which we have is community level natural resource management and utilization, which would just focus on individuals or groups who are demonstrating inspiring examples of sustainable development solutions that work for people and the environment. So this concentrates on areas such as wildlife conservation, nature-based tourism, uh, forest management, and value addition to natural resources. Very, very important, value addition to natural resources, use of ecotourism, you know, use of indigenous plants, water, energy, access, climate resilient agriculture, etc. Right. And then the third category that we, we are also talking about in terms of research and development, which are basically are what outstanding piece of research or innovation in the field of sustainability right. and then we have a category that called youth action for sustainable development which focuses on youth and then we've got artists this is also one of the new categories which we introduced introduced this year uh, artists for action for sustainable development because that's hence why we're also calling on artists to come up with design for their work so we also want to recognize them because they are making so much effort and mm -hmm. then in terms of journalism in this category we've introduced a subcategory in this category which is concentrating on best digital because we have those journalists who are mainly concentrating on online social and photography and then also the category of best television best radio best print then you've got women and environment we've got sustainable schools focusing on private and public schools green financial institutions such as are involved in areas such as green bonds uh, you know uh, unveiling funding for renewable energy funding for instance as an example then we've got the category of sustainable mining and exploration activities which is also a new one which i talked about about All and right. finally the, the third leadership yeah. category which is the discretion of the minister to award an individual that is outstanding in the field sustainable development this one is strictly at the discretion of the minister and we no one is able to apply for it Absolutely, a lot. Thank you so much for making the time to talk to us. And of course, all the best uh, with, of course, all the, with the build-up of these awards. You know, we of course can't wait to see who the winners are going to turn out to be. Thank you so much. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you guys on the 19th of June, 2024. Absolutely. That was Lot Ndamanomata, the Communications Manager at the Environmental Investment Fund of Namibia. Of course, talking to us about the, the awards, the Sustainable Development Awards. This is the fourth edition that's about to take place on the 19th of June, 2024. Of course, applications are still open until the 19th of April at 1 o'clock, of course. So if you are interested to take part of, this in, of these awards, and of course, I hope to win these awards, you can, of course, look them up on their website at the Environmental Investment Fund or look them up on social media of course to see what category you can be part of and of course hope to win for that awards of course if you are just joining us you're watching the daily roundup we take a short break bring you more interviews after a short break <laughs>